There are over 700,000 people in the UK of autism, so when you take into account families and carers, that's 2.8 million people. For a lot of autistic people, they're unable to come to um, general performances because of uh, the sensory sensitivities. They won't want to be in a crowd. Um, they won't be used to the theatre etiquette. They'll be worried about other people judging them. So for an autism-friendly performance, that offers a relaxed environment in which an autistic person and their family can come and enjoy a performance. Here at the Lyceum, we're really committed to delivering autism-friendly performances because we believe that everyone should have the opportunity to see this amazing show. We start planning months in advance. It is something that everybody works on. Stage management, our front of house, our theatre management, the cast and crew. We do change the layout of the venue. The bars become chill out spaces. We will have things like bean bags, some soft toys for the younger children. Our capacity normally is 2,130 um, and we reduce that somewhat in order to create larger spaces in the auditorium. It's far more important these performances that people feel welcome and comfortable. We have a, a dedicated access phone line which is for all access customers that have any access requirements and we have a dedicated team that will process bookings and are trained to know and help with your requirements. Within the show we are not changing the action on stage but how we're presenting it to the audience. We change the lighting to take out any of the flashing lights. We alter the, some of the sound effects to make them quieter, especially any loud bangs. We will have people from the, the wider realms of the Ambassador Theatre Group help us. We'll have volunteers from the National Autistic Society. And we also have people from Disney who are all on hand to support everyone in the venue and, and to ensure that they have the best possible experience.